Hello everyone, Jawtooth again, and today I'm in Thurman, West Virginia. Thurman comprises an area of 58 acres, so it's not a very big town. Population is three. Last time I was here last year, population was five. So we lost about 40% of the town somehow. Somebody let me know what happened in the comments below. Here's Main Street. The railroad is Main Street. And guess what, we got a train coming right now. We got a westbound train coming. Go ahead and start the video, son, here we go. Coal train, yes. Just got here an hour ago.
Wow, was that awesome or what? Man, that was a good one. They were booking too. Hey, what's the hurry? Anyways, I hope somebody counted cars on that. That was a long train right there. Wish it was loaded with coal. I think it was empty. Check out this old coaling tower right over here too. Old CNO coaling tower. I believe it says Fairbanks Morse on it. I'll go up here and get a closer look at it. All right, here we go. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, what was this? Hey, I'm hearing something from RJ Corman over here. I think RJ Corman might be bringing something out. So I gotta hurry back up that way. I'm way down here. I was gonna check out the coaling tower. We're about to come back to that. The RJ Corman interchange is right up here by the train station. And I'm hearing them on the scanner talking. Well, we're walking across the bridge right now. We don't want to stay on this side very long because we might miss a CSX train. But RJ Corman's doing some switching over here just at the end of the bridge. So I gotta at least get some shots of that and then go back again. So let's see what we got going on up here. Okay, I walked all the way up here to the train. I'm not sure what they're doing though. I'm afraid to be up here for too long because the CSX line is way over that way and we do have a train coming. It's supposed to have some Canadian Pacific locomotives on it. I don't know if it's, a, if it's gonna make it here today or not, but we're afraid we might miss that. So we can't stay over here very long. Got to see what they're doing. At least we got them in the video though. There's RJ Corman. Oh, okay, they're they're bringing locomotive around the side. We got live action going on here. They're gonna go up that way and then reverse back this way, it looks like. But wait, there's more. Okay, here comes the train up the hill. They're taking these loaded cars back towards PAX. And we're a couple miles from Thurman right now. They're pulling hard on the hill here, son. They're keeping it about eight miles an hour.
wow was that awesome or what man that was cool we drove four and a half hours uh to get that right there that's exactly what we came down here for that was definitely worth the drive man i worked up a sweat too we we're walking up the hill trying to get up here for the train <coughs> got my throat all dried out uh, woo. that was good good day now we're going to head back down towards thurman and see if we can catch something on the csx line so there you go train going up the hill i don't know what the uh, percentage is i would like to find that out because it's pretty steep you can hear those locomotives working hard that was awesome Y'all two's on the scene here. We're going back down towards Thurman. And there's Gambit over there, if you can see him. Ah, this feels good getting that air. I go back down and get some more trains. Live action here, son. West Virginia. Cool. Getting a ride from Alex here. This is sweet. There's the river. Somewhere. Okay, while well, we're waiting for another train to go by, here's the place I want to stay at. Look at that. They're working on that house right now. I don't know if it's open yet, but when that's open, I'm going to rent that out for a whole weekend. Now I'm over here by the old coaling tower. There's a building that goes with it. I'm not sure what that's for. Somebody comment below, let me know. Here's the coaling tower built in 1922. And this was used to load coal onto steam locomotives as fuel to power the steam locomotive. They would pull right up inside of this structure here and there were chutes and the chutes would allow the coal to go in the tender of the steam locomotive. Built in 1922. Okay, there's a town hall right across the tracks from the coaling tower. So now we're gonna have a closer look at this coaling tower. Just like everybody wanted to see. Built for the CNO Railroad in 1922. On this side, they would load coal onto the locomotives. There's holes. I hate to walk on the track. It's the only way to do it. There's holes in the side of the building, and that's where the coal would come out. And they had chutes to lower the coal onto the railroad car, I mean, onto the locomotives right here, into the tenders. Now, in order for the coal to get up there, they had a track right here for the hopper cars to roll over and the coal would come out the bottom of the hopper cars, go between this track, and there's a hole down in there, which you can't really see. It would funnel down into that. There was a um, pump or a motor, if you will, on the other side of this wall over here. And that would pull this coal up into the top of this building. Right inside there, there was a motor inside that room. We'll have a look at that in a second. So it would pump it all the way up to the top of that building. And over here, there, must have been a track here too. there was another track on this side where there was chutes. You can see the chutes right there. So they could actually load steam locomotives on this side also. And let's have a look at this inside here. People who know something about this, comment below. Look at this. Hey, there's a plate on the side of it. Let's see if we can see what that says. I'll get a picture out of that because I can't see it right here. 30 horsepower. 30 horsepower. Okay. So there's your main room. Now there's another building right over there too. That's got something to do with this, but I don't know what. There's the coaling tower way back there in the distance, and all the lights are red but it's just too hard to pick them up. You gotta be looking straight at those lights. At nighttime, they show up really good. The daytime, I don't know how the train crew see them. But wait, there's more. Hey, we've got an eastbound train coming right now. Possibility that it's got a Kansas City Southern locomotive. That's the word I'm getting. Kansas City Southern locomotive leading the train. So it's gonna be coming from that direction right there. I'm gonna get up here and see if I can find a good spot. Maybe get that colon tower in the picture. There's the town, population three. There we are in downtown Thurmond. 
And here comes the train around the curve right now. Clear Thurman. Oh man, was that awesome or what? That was cool. And that DPU was really working hard. They were booking along that pretty good little clip. It had been a few hours since the last train went through. That was a good one there. And they were right, the rail fence were right. It was a Kansas City Southern locomotive on that. And here we are at the main part of Thurmond. There's where I'm gonna do my banking if they open it back up again. Look at this place, this is cool. And the main train station is down that way. That's where the movie Mate One was filmed, right there. I still hear that train. 
first picked it up on the scanner about 10 minutes before we got here. We heard it on 160.23. Okay, thanks for watching. That was pretty cool. Um, that was pure luck getting that one there. So that, that pretty much makes the day complete there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Pretty good day here. And um, I'm going to probably be back this fall, hopefully this fall, if they run the new river train. I don't know if it's going to be running this year or not. So anyways, thanks for watching. There's the post office right there. Thurman, West Virginia. What you doing, Loki?